Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, at one point during the campaign and even before, Raila Molo Dinga came out and said that it is good the government to regulate our churches in this country such that Kenyans will not be left in the hands of rogue pastors. Even Mama Eda Odinga came out and she said the same, that we need to have true men of God who will serve Kenyans in their churches according to the word of God. But not having everyone as if it is just a market where people are going to sell what they feel to sell and feed public with whatever kind of content they want to give. Yes, we understand that in Kenya, you are allowed to practice your faith. But to some extent, we have rogue pastors, bishops and preachers who take the advantage of the congregants to mislead, misguide and even loot them left, right, center. But then William Samai Ruto, together with the Rigathe Gashago, came in and they were against that statement. They politicized it. Instead, they branded Raila Odinga as an enemy of the church, as if Raila is not a Christian. Gashago alienda kasema ya kwamba yule mama mwenye hapendi kanisa, mwenye alisema atafunga makanisa. That Ida Odinga had said they are going to close the church. That's what Rigathe Gashagwa said. So they came out so much to defend the wrong pastors. And indeed, after that, these pastors are in our churches. They are busy doing the activities. And first of all, just watch this to confirm the kind of pastors that William Ruto and Gashagwa were protecting. And as of now, they are in agreement with the pastors like this one. Tofauti yangu na bwana yako. Just watch. Nafanya mukono hivi na atakuja hapa mwenyewe. Baba katika jina la yesu. Wewe ulia shika umu anaume. Achilia migu yake. Kuja hapa kama askari. Kuja hapa kama askari. Alaka. Pika sayuti. Kuja. 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 Lala. Unwana yo. Ujue tofauti yangu na bwana yako. Usi nilinganisha my friend. Usi kose. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, most of you will agree with me that this William Ruto's pastor is doing comedy. They have taken this issue too far. Comedy should be taken to church and show. But not in the church. But again, if you are doing it in the church, then let the congregants understand that you are just performing a comedy. Not a healing miracle. Not preaching. Not prayer. Pure comedy taken to the church at another high level. As simple as that. Indeed, these are the pastors who are in front line campaigning as agent of William Samai Ruto in the church. Believe you me, these are the kind of pastors who are advertising William Samai Ruto using his image in the church on the altar during the campaign season. They are just the same pastors. Because with this comedy, then you bring in William Ruto, you are advertising during campaign. Are you taking the congregants to the Lord? You like Jesus or you are taking them to William Samuel Ruto? That is where the contradiction come in the church. Ruto was protecting these pastors because they were campaigning for him. So we are in a country where the president has allowed 
comedy he has entertained people in the name of preachers to mislead a whole country just imagine someone watching you from south africa someone watching you from tanzania someone watching you from <laughs> whichever country nigeria or outside african continent those who are not saved will they come to church they will see kenya as a country which has taken comedy to the church these pastors raila was after protecting the christians in the church so that they don't end up landing in hands of wrong pastors who are going to loot them by subjecting them to such kind of high level comedy but ruto has exposed kenyans to wrong pastors who have the appetite to rob them using this kind of fake miracle comedy this is someone who was just they were acting and you see the scene was well prepared the person whom this pastor is calling he was informed what to do that's why now he's coming and acting exactly on how the scene was scripted they are working on a script to hoodwink church members these people should leave this church <laughs> i don't think if come on afa wanele kaka wa kanisa kama hiyo unasema ati you are listening to the gospel which gospel is this these are the pastors that mama ida odinga was talking about our church need to be regulated so that we have people who are going to feed the congregants with the right message you know we go to church to heal our souls to pray to appreciate god and again just to you know nourishment so that when you came out when you have your own stress you come out relieved when you went in the church when you have advised mind you get an advice from the church so it is for our soul our mind and our well being but now when you are subjected to this kind of comedy when someone has the end goal of looting you direct in your pocket because this kind of pastors their own main goal is in your pocket their target is your pocket just the same way william ruto is pickpocketing kenyans in the name of taxes these pastors are also pickpocketing their congregants in the name of fake miracles kenya needed their kagame paul kagame is not in kenya and that man who would have brought that sanity in the church it would have been if wafula chebukati had announced raila molo dinga as the president elect so we are in this situation katasi of wafula chebukati we are in this mess katasi of the supreme court of kenya and we are in this mess katasi of some few people who are voting for william samoy ruto now ruto has no option but to defend these rogue pastors in our churches because 2027 is coming he need them to continue advertising his image in the church he need them to continue campaigning for him he need them to mislead and misguide their congregants in a political direction that they are not willing to go to plan fake direction among masses in the name of voting direction so he will continue to protect them and they will continue to loot you that's where we are these people 
must go into a Bible training college. And after that, they have to follow what the Bible says. Not to come here to loot Kenyans. So what are we teaching our children now? They go to church. Then they're subjected to this kind of shenanigans. What are we telling our own children? What are we planting in their mind? Where are we? So in the future, which kind of church are we going to have? Some churches like this one must be closed. And this kind of preachers must not be allowed anywhere near the altar to pretend as if they are preaching when they are just coming to sell fake miracles to their congregants, load them left, right, center, courtesy of William Samoy Ruto in the name of protecting the church.